relief for Marty Suzuki, so watch out for that stock tomorrow. Again, the decision along expected lines, the crucial verdict on Gujarat plant is out. And about 89.75% shareholders have voted in favor of the resolution, allowing Suzuki to own the new factory. Speaking to Ronald Banerjee, R.C. Bhargav, the chairman of the company, explains that changes were made to the original deal, which was very controversial and was seen as being anti-minority shareholder. And the new proposal, which has now been voted on and has got the approval of the minority shareholders, is a deal that will benefit the shareholders of Maruti Suzuki. Listen in. Big burden is off us because uh, it has taken a bit of effort and uh, getting a new idea accepted. The deal is through, sir, now that you've got the shareholders' vote, but you've had to make some changes, okay, from the original proposal, the fact that, uh, uh, you know, that, that as and when the plant would be sold to Maruti, it would be at book value and so on and so forth. It would be at a no-cost, uh, no-profit basis. So counterfactually, do you feel like if those changes were then, uh, you know, that you, you guys were right to make those changes, or else who knows, the, you know, the voting could have been different than today? No, I think... Uh, the substance of the deal has remained the same, namely that Suzuki would set up the plant, that there would be a contract manufacturing agreement, that the subsidiary would work on a no-profit, no-loss basis. That has remained unchanged. Mm -hmm. But some of these other uh, things which were causing concern to shareholders, yes, certainly they have changed, and I think it's good that uh, we could do things which have made the shareholders feel a little bit more uh, happy about the whole thing system. Well, that's R.C. Bhakar. So how should you play the Maruti stock tomorrow? Sonia joins us now. Sonia, you've been speaking to experts. What are they telling you? Well, I expect the Maruti stock to open higher tomorrow. This news flow is a big vote of confidence to Maruti. The fact that most shareholders believe that there will be no negative impact of this Gujarat plant deal on either the uh, earnings or on the margins. Now the company can peacefully go ahead with the new plant. Remember, the new Gujarat plant will have an initial capacity of 250,000 units per annum. So this will help solve their capacity constraint problems as well. For Maruti as a stock, uh, the stock could get better valuations because because remember, uh, Mr. Bhargav did say that uh, with the Gujarat plant, Maruti will have a higher return on capital employed. So now Maruti could get higher valuations because it will be seen as a higher ROC company with a better distribution agreement as well. Also, there is a possibility of a higher dividend payout by Maruti because of the high cash on books that it has at this point in time. And finally, we do ex eventually expect the Suzuki plant to be merged in future once the full depreciation of the Gujarat plant plays out over the next five to seven years. So all in all, it's expected to be a positive for the company tomorrow. I think uh, most of the boardrooms have taken notice of the fact that you can no longer take uh, shareholders in India for granted. Uh, they are a part of the decision-making process. Uh, admittedly, on uh, most of the uh, operating decisions, uh, they might leave it to the management to do so. But uh, when there is a strategic shift which is taking place, uh, as it is in this case, uh, their view is that, look, we need to be consulted, we need to be a part of that whole decision-making process. So I think that uh, is, uh, from our perspective, uh, quite a welcome development uh, from the domestic market's perspective. I now feel it won't make much of a difference to the stock, uh, immediately at least, but in the near uh, to the long term, it could probably end up benefiting the stock, uh, as I can make out, by not investing into the plant. Of course, it would not have invested such a huge amount in the first place. The expectation was it uh, probably had earmarked about 8,000 to 9,000 crores. Now, if that were to be put into the distribution side of the business, you start making margins as a distributor and a seller, reseller of the cars rather than a manufacturer. So I think the margin contraction will not impact uh, the, the overall p &L. All right, so analysts weighing in there on the Maruti stock post the Gujarat plant getting the shareholder nod. Now, the Apex squad's cracked up.